Kelsey with Sustainable Media Center, and this is part four of the Body Trends series. So let's talk about body trends in the early 2010s to mid 2010s. So during this time, we see a shift from the preference for very skinny bodies to the preference of bodies like influencers like Kim Kardashian, who had a BBL, and now there's a preference for a big butt, a skinny waist. So it's still an emphasis on skinny, but there are some features that there's a preference to be curvy, and this has been criticized a lot. For instance, the BBL trend has been criticized because it's taking the features that a lot of Black women and Latino women naturally have, which they have been criticized for in the past, and now once they're on white women, it's been like, that's the new trend. That's basically what is preferred since it's on a white woman there's some influencers on tiktok who have talked about this isn't it interesting that people can put on blackness like a coat and when it no longer suits them they can take it off creator is referring to is that recently we have seen the shift back to skinny and kim kardashian and other major influencers have removed their bbls and have just like really just taken off their look which a lot of people can't do because it's how they naturally are in addition to that like the pushing of bbls and other like major beauty trends that like was like need surgery to be done just is dangerous bbls have a high death rate a lot of people were trying to get them very cheap in different countries or south florida and they were dying because of it or they were falling sick and basically these beauty trends were not only costing them a lot with monetarily but also in their health even now to keep up with the current beauty trends people are using drugs like ozempic to which are drugs for diabetes but also have the side effect of weight loss to keep their weight down but this is now taking away valuable care for people who need these drugs for diabetes and other reasons and now like the rich have access to a drug that is in short supply but really these beauty trends aren't doing any good for anyone they the rich are able to capitalize off people because of what they're pushing but everybody else really just suffers because of it and that just shows that like we can't keep up with body trends they're not they're not sustainable and the fact that we keep shifting in them shows that